Hey guys, I'm Lydia and welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to turn all of this into something amazing. Today we're making sofrito, okay? We're making it two ways. We're going to make a cilantro base and we're making a tomato base, okay? So, we're going to switch it up and jump right into these two fantastic cooking base recipes. But we're going to start off with the traditional cilantro based sof sofrito. <laughs> I got to learn how to roll. Cilantro based sofrito. Okay? So that's the one we're going to start with. I have most of our stuff already prepped up for us, which is just going to help us glide and breeze right through this. All of our peppers are right here for our first recipe. I do have the ends cut off. I have a whole bunch of different types of sweet small peppers um, and for these my food processor guys is actually broke I don't care if we keep the seeds if you want to get rid of them when you make your own you can but I tend to keep them so I'm just gonna roughly chop these because I'm gonna end up using my immersion blender to get all of these mixed up So these are our sweet peppers already in. I have some red and green bell peppers already diced up too in here. I might end up having to switch this to a bigger bowl, but we're gonna see for now. So we're just gonna switch for a different bowl. Let's disappear. So now that we have our peppers in, I am gonna throw our onions in as well. This is a mixture of red and also white onions. Some of these are gonna go for the next cilantro recipe too. Then we're gonna add in garlic as well. And then the rest of this garlic, again, will go to our other cilantro-based recipe. So I'm going to just throw it in with these onions. Once I have those, I'm going to add in our olives. These are Spanish olives. And they're pitted. I did leave a little bit of juice, but not all of the juice that came with it, guys. And then our cilantro is here and I have a whole bunch going in. So let's grab some oil and then we can start blending this right up. I'm going to pour just a little bit in here. So most of this is now blended and I just did a quick little up and down, same way you would do with a food processor, just a couple pulses. So now I'm gonna throw in some of our cilantro. So I'm gonna take a couple bundles out, guys. And while these bundles are out, I'm just going to roughly chop them, stems and all. And drop it right all in. 
Now I got about six bushels of cilantro and I think I'm going to end up using all six. Any leftover leaves, I'm throwing those in too, guys. All right. So that's all of our cilantro that's in. Our bowl is so full. I really thought I was probably going to get one good quart out of this, but I know it's going to be way more. So I am going to add some more olive oil. And guys, if you were doing this in the food processor, you would just add in all of your bell peppers, onions, garlic, your capers, your olives, um, and a little bit of salt and pepper and puree it in your food processor until it gets minced up. Then you will do what I am doing now, which is the second step and adding your cilantro in. I think I'm going to grab this out just to use when I need it. But because my food processor is down, that's why, again, I'm using my immersion blender. It does take more work. But, again, it does the same. Oop, this is coming off. So we're just going to keep blending. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, if I could take this off. Done. I'm so happy. It smells so good, so fresh, and so aromatic. Now, guys, this I'm going to freeze. There is no way that I know of of preserving it, like canning it wise. Um, so I just freeze it, which is great. And this is going to last us pretty much, I'm going to say hopefully the next six months. I use this regular sofrito um, when I make uh, arroz con pollo. I use it when I just make rice as a side dish. You can use it as a marinade for your meat. It's so great and so wonderful. This is what we're looking like. Okay. <laughs> so we have one recipe done and I am going to put this in a jar so I can freeze it. And then we're going to wipe this down and get started on our second sofrito so lids on and i got three jars complete total oh tongue tied so i got three jars total of our cilantro based sofrito i'm gonna get this in our freezer and then we're going to move on to our tomato based sofrito hey right, guys so we're now on to our tomato based sofrito um, and this is not too many ingredients at all. Most of it went into the last sofrito base recipe. This one is super easy. We're going to go in with our fire roasted diced tomatoes. I did drain these. This is two cans of diced tomatoes. I prefer the fire roasted kind. That's the one that I get at Big Bulk, at BJ's. It's the one that I love, okay? Now we're going to go in with our onions. Again, I have some red onions, white onions in here as well. And then I have a whole, whole, a whole clove, guys, or head of garlic that we're going to add right in here. And this is going to fit all in here, which is great. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to add in some paprika just to help give it another added flavor of smokiness. Just get a little more in. All right, and then the rest of our bell peppers are gonna go in. So this is an orange and a green bell pepper that I'm throwing in, and then we're just gonna top it with some oil. And same way we did the last one, the same way we did the this, we're gonna do this one. Because my food processor is down, we'll be using my immersion blender. <laughs> Get me 
another spatula. So for our tomato base of frito, guys, this is literally it. It's so pretty. It has a nice light pink color. Unlike the ones you get from the grocery store, I think I do have one. I might show it to you guys to show you the difference. Um, but this, we're going to transfer this into a jar as well and then freeze it. And we have both of our sofritos. So I'm going to grab a jar. All right, guys. So that is it. Okay. Quick, simple, easy recipes. Two different ways to make your own sofrito at home so you have your own cooking bases ready and you know exactly what is in each of your bases, okay? So this is our traditional cilantro uh, sofrito and then we have our tomato based sofrito. And I just wanna say, if you got any good information from this video and you liked it, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe because I wanna see you again tomorrow. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.